I grew up outside Seattle in a little town called Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> and when people hear I'm from a border state, they say, oh, immigration's a, bri a big problem. And I say, no, it's not because I happen to know a lot of stuff, all right? I didn't graduate from the University of Arizona with a degree in international studies at all. But <laughs> I listen and I read a lot of stories on YouTube and I know <laughs> immigration's not a problem. It's a combination of problems with a capital Z. That's too much for most people to wrap their brains around. Well, lucky for you, my brain is flexibler than that. <laughs> You say, think outside the box. I say, how high? <laughs> Immigration is actually two problems. One, we got a bunch of people who want to be in our country because we're number one. And B stands for border. We have a border that's too long to protect. Have you looked at a map recently? It's a 2,000 mile dotted line. Well, no wonder so many people are getting through. It's a dotted line that's 2,000 miles long. <laughs> Hola. Do you know how long the Panama Canal is? Probably not, it's only 10 miles. See, I told you, I happen to know a lot of stuff. Now, the other day, after bath time, my mom, Pat, came down to the basement, but she knocked first, which is our new rule. And we were watching the news from Washington and she said I should share my great ideas with the White House because I'm a problem thinker and I've got the doctor's note to prove it, but I didn't. I didn't come here tonight to talk about Pat because she's not the boss of me right now. I came here to tell you that when we issue my shorter border order, immigration won't be a problem anymore. It's simple, we move the border to the Panama Canal, which is short and very secure, what with all those locks, and then we take over all the countries between here and there. Panama, Mexico, all the other ones. So, all the people who wanna come here to America won't have to come here because they'll already be here except down there where they are already. But now, they'll be paying taxes to Uncle Sam instead of Uncle Tio or whoever. I don't know which one of their relatives is in charge of that. But we'll make a bunch of money in taxes and the border will be shorter and easier to keep in order. You're totally welcome. I just killed two birds with one stone because that's how I roll. I'm Robert Mack and I kill birds. <laughs> and I've been traveling the country sharing my, my plans and I've realized we have, we have a lot of red people in our country and a lot of blue people and I think we need more purple people like Prince. In honor of Prince's memory, I think America's forecast is for some purple rain because right now our country is bipolarized. It's black and white and gay and straight and young and old and male and female. And we need something more like Prince, whatever, <laughs> whatever that was, more of that because a two party system doesn't work or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just like my mom, Pat. She's never satisfied with anything that I do. Why do we scream at each other? Do you even know what it sounds like when doves cry? I do, because I kill birds. 